Hey everybody, Jeff Stone here with day 90 of the year 2015 at magicreviewed.com. We're almost a third of the way through the year, folks. Um, I guess we're a fourth of the way here through right now. It's the last day of March. Anyway, uh, today we're looking at Your Card Is by Magic Tao and uh, Grant Maidment. Um, so let me just quickly get a couple of minor product issues out of the way, uh, quality issues. Um, this disc is burned. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, as opposed to pressed. Um, that was a problem maybe a few years ago. But unless your DVD player is really old, this shouldn't be a problem at all. So just want to point that out, though, in case you know that you have problems with burned discs, you may have a problem with this one. But it played fine for me. Uh, oddly, though, um, the video screen, the video didn't take up the whole window of my laptop. So it's just like a rectangle right in the center and it's black all around it. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But anyway, audio, lighting, quality, all that was totally fine. Uh, it was taught very well and so forth, so on and so forth. So what's the effect? This is um, it's really nothing new, actually. Uh, it, it's a pretty standard plot in Magic, which is you have four cards. You show them face up. And uh, you do, um, you know, sort of the uh, almost a twist in the aces style of a routine where the cards one at a time flip face up. Uh, but then there's the kicker ending where all the backs are different. That's uh, this Grant Marriott Maidman certainly not the first guy to do that effect. There's as many versions of that effect on the market as there are magicians in the world. I mean, that's an old, old idea. Um, a lot of people do that. And then that's one effect you can do. The second effect that you can do is a similar thing where you, you do the cards turn face up one at a time. But then instead of the backs changing colors, they, they do that. And on the back of one card, it says your, and actually it doesn't say card, it says signed. And it says card, and there's a little arrow, and it's pointing to a fourth card, which is used to be a joker or whatever and it became the magically became the sign selection so it says your signed card and then it points to the the card that's left watch the trailer <laughs> it'll make more sense than whatever i just said um that affects not i mean it's a it's still the, the plot is not that new i mean chad long doc Eason, both those guys have definitely done that and there's others out there um i think i could be wrong about that but i know at least those two guys uh, and unfortunately, nobody was credited on any of this. So that was kind of a bit of a bummer. Oh, oh here, there's a good picture of it right there. Your signed card. That's kind of out of focus there. But anyway, your signed card. So uh, that's basically what you're getting. Uh, now, if you're going to use... Now, you're supplied with the multicolored back cards and the one little special gimmick that you need to make the the face-up, face-down magic happen. If you're going to do this version with the, the signed card, uh, then you will have to write on the back of your cards. And because you've written on the back of your cards, you won't be able to do the other effect, which was just where the backs just change color. That's called the chameleon deception right there. So you have to pick one or the other. However, with the signed card version, um, the real kicker is not so much that the backs change color because you don't even really draw attention to that. You actually draw attention to the words that appear on the cards and uh, the fact that the card they're holding that used to be a, a joker, or in my case, I got eight of diamonds, eights of diamonds. Um, I, and so it used to be an eight of diamonds, and now it's become their signed card. So you're really focusing on their signature and the words that appear in the back of the cards. That being the case, you can easily just start with a blue packet of cards and then a blue packet of eight of diamonds, that, uh, and then they become all red or whatever. And so in that case, rather than using these cards and writing on the backs of them, you can um, just get four red cards out of a red deck, or actually three red cards out of a red deck, and, and then use the gimmick that comes with the packet here, and then you can do the effect and just write your signed card on the back of those red cards. And that way you can still keep this separate and do the, the um, chameleon deception trick and still be able to do the your signed card trick. So that's basically it. Um, there's not a whole lot to say, really. The ad copy is totally accurate. What you see in the video is exactly what you get. There's... I mean, this isn't like some flashy, crazy pipe dream of a routine where they're going to try to hide stuff in the ad trailer or in the text or anything. It's a simple routine, as you can see in the ad trailer. And it is the kind of stuff that typically, if you do it right, can get pretty solid reactions. Uh, so the question is, um, do you like the effect? 
If you like the effect, you'll be very happy with what you get. It's only 20 bucks, and it's, again, it's taught very well. The DVD menu is easy to navigate. He also teaches you how to do an Elms account and how to do a half pass in there uh, in a separate section. So that way, the nice thing about that that I appreciate is that, you know, almost every packet, <coughs> packet trick uses an Elms account. And so after a while, if you watch a whole, as many DVDs as I watch, you get tired of seeing an Elms account explained over and over again. And so it's nice to know that you can just skip that section if you want to. I, as a reviewer, have to watch it so that I can see if there's any problems with it. And this one, I'll admit, I did kind of skim through it and didn't actually watch that part. Um, but generally speaking, I do watch those. Um, but he covers Elms account and he covers a half pass in a separate section which for you, if you already know how to do those moves, it saves you some time instead of having to sit through it during the regular ex explanations. So it's all taught well. It's all explained well. You get the four cards that you need to pull it off, and uh, that's about it. Uh, the only thing that I was really bummed out about was that I felt that it was not appropriate that they didn't credit anybody on anything uh, because there are um, there's a lot of people that, that have done this kind of stuff before. So anyway... I don't know what else to tell you guys. Four stars, stone status of gem. If you like the effect, uh, I'd recommend this. Um, again, for for 20 bucks, it's a very reasonable price. So uh, it's time for you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it out to all of your social connections, and listen to the Random iTunes song of the moment, which is, oh, Robert Johnson, the man who sold his soul to the devil. Walking blues. I uh, got a little story for you about Robert Johnson. Uh, this, all right, the secret. I'm letting the cat out of the bag right now. This I've never told anybody this. Um, this is a brand new thing. My tarot card ebook. Uh, I'm actually pr uh, putting it together, or I'm doing a printed version of it now, and I'm adding a whole section of a uh, bonus tarot card effects in it. And I was writing um, up some of these these effects. And uh, during the write-up, um, I, I was going back and looking at a, an effect that's already in the book, the written, the ebook version, and there was uh, one little concept. I just had to refresh my memory on how it worked. And so I was walking through it, and it, it says, you know, deal out uh, X number of cards until the spectator says stop. Let's say they say stop on the four of hearts. That's what the written that I wrote, you know, years ago when I wrote the book. So I'm reading that. And I deal out and I stop when it says to stop and it happens to be a four of hearts or whatever card I'd written in the book. So here I am dealing through and it says stop at, at, at from a shuffle deck um, after the, you know, when you get to the number that when you get to, it's hard to explain this, but you're counting backwards from 10 to one. So when you, when you get to the number six, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, stop there. And let's say the card they stop at is a four of hearts. That just happened to be the actual card I stopped at when I was right, when I was playing around with that method. And so it matched the card that, that I made up as an example years ago when I wrote the book. So a little weird moment there. And then, um, a few minutes later, I'm writing up the rest of the effect that deals with the tarot cards and, and the devil card is involved. And the moment I type in the word devil, uh, the, the me and the devil blues by Robert Johnson, comes on my random playlist. And so I'm typing the word devil and he's saying the word devil right at the exact moment. Very weird little moment there. Yeah, very weird. Anyway, enough rambling. Uh, I just turned this four minute review into a nine minute video by telling an ad story. Sorry about that. Anyway, tune in tomorrow, April Fool's Day, the first day of the, the uh, month of April, which is day 91. And we're looking at David Blanco phoenix ashes uh this is uh i believe it's a modification or a variation of the uh, ashes on the arm kind of a thing it's a um in, it's revives and improves the ashes on the arm with, with a scorching new method of presentation so there you go there's something in there so that's exciting anywho that's it for today folks tune in tomorrow for this one thanks for watching peace out <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.